Hello everyone, welcome back. It's so nice out today. Oh, they just have a little grooming fest. I'm wondering if that's how Nilly New got that big bloody patch on her neck the other day. I wonder if they got a bit carried away with their mutual grooming. Um, got her in a couple of days ago and she's just had a big bloody patch on her crest, a big old scab there. I couldn't quite figure out how she did it, but I wonder if it may have been Mr. Winster, bless him. Right, it's a little bit windy out. I hope the uh, hope the sign's going to be okay for today. So I've got a couple of jobs I need to catch up on. Um, first thing I'm going to do, actually, so I've been working on a little kind of project. I bought myself a little mini sewing machine because I wanted to learn how to fix stuff. Because um, I get fed up with like towel bags and hoods, especially. What are you putting scallies for? Huh? You can go back out on the grass in a bit. I want to move Piggy first though. I'm going to move the pig this afternoon. Anyway, I got myself a little sewing machine and I've been playing with making some little mini tail bags. Um, I actually made this one for Stumpy. It's about Stumpy's size. Cause yeah, I just get fed up with having to buy new stuff all the time. Like Woody's always trashing his hoods. They're always trashing their rugs. They're always trashing their tail bags. And I'm like, well, why don't I just learn how to fix them? So as I've been learning how to use that thing, because I had literally no clue, I thought, well, let's just go ahead and try and make something. So I've got this little tail bag here. Homemade stumps. Should we see if it actually works? Hang on. No, I need the butt end. I need the butt end, darling. <laughs> That's adorable. That's the perfect size for you, Stumps, isn't it? Perfect size. Look at your tummy. I think you've had a bit too much grass this morning, haven't you? Yes, look at that. I need another brush. Look at it. Just, it keeps on coming. Where does it come from, Stumps? <laughs> I'm surprised you've got anything left. <laughs> well, I better add that to the list of things to do today. Give some Stumpy another brush. Oh, it looks so cute on her. Oh, that is adorable absolutely adorable well that's given me a good idea for sizes at least um yeah i'm gonna need to make something substantially bigger for the likes of that idiot oh dear right let's uh let's leave these creatures to their own devices for a little bit i need to go down the bottom field and get miss piggy's bed ready What are you doing, children? <laughs> We're being in a loony bin with you lot, do you know that? What are you doing, Stumps? Kicking the bucket isn't going to make more food magically appear. It's empty, babe. It's empty. Right. Uh, let's grab me a bucket of pig nuts and see if we can get Madam down in her field with no drama. Yeah, there's Din Din's. Ready? Come on, Lynn. 
Are you helping, Taz? pretty well I think. She is such a good little piggy. Honestly she's so good. She just It's just like taking a dog for a walk. She is really good. She's very happy down there right now munching away on lots of nice fresh grass. This needs a bit of um, TLC. I think the plan is, <laughs> oh yeah I caught her the other day. She's been ripping shreds off of this and putting it in her bed. <laughs> to be fair Blue started it. Blue did all of that. Uh, but yeah, Pig's joined in there as well. She's been harvesting bits of the tarp. So, get to need a new tarp, but that's fine. Yeah, I think the plan is that that big pig arc is actually going to go down into her summer field. Um, and then we're going to reconfigure this space up here and make it better for the winter. But, woohoo, pig's out! Happy days, pig's out! Ponies are going out on grass. I'm actually to put them all back out in the fields for an hour or so this evening just because we've got all the grass out there like it's i feel like it's too much to leave them out all day but by putting them out an hour or two at the beginning and at the end of the day massively cut down on the amount of hay we're feeding which is awesome uh, right who's going out first should we put you down the bottom blue all right you've got to promise not to be a clown yeah you're going to be a clown aren't you not helping your case blue <laughs> No, no. <laughs> oh. Right, happy ponies. As per usual, Blue was a pain in my butt to get out there. I don't know what goes through his head, I really don't. He's got this big issue where he bolts through gateways at the moment, so I'm trying to trying to work on that, because if you're not careful, he bolts through it, and he kind of crushes you into the gatepost as he goes. So that's been fun. <laughs> I just, like, and then, like, a minute ago, he got through the gateway, like, I made him do it three or four times because he kept being stupid. So, you know, my number one rule with horses is we keep doing it until you do it properly. Or sensibly in this case. Um, and yeah, he did it beautifully sensibly, walked through, turned around, stopped and waited for me to unclip his head collar. And then out of nowhere, he just did a massive bronc up in the air. I'm like, now we've got to do it again, bud. Um, yeah, so my next job is I need to scooch this over one way. And I gotta basically unpack those two bales and move them in here and put them away. So that's my workout for the day sorted. Hey guys, it's actually a few days later now. I started this vlog in the middle of the week and I just didn't get a chance to finish it. Pony's just eating their breakfast. I'm just popping into the garden to check on stuff because I don't know if you can see my breath right now, but um, it's cold. It's not meant to be cold, but it is cold this morning. Very annoying. I did have a slight brown pants moment when I woke up and saw frost on the roofs of the houses. Um, at about 6 a.m. Um, so I'm just checking. I mean, I think we've gotten away with it. So me being the impatient and eager person that I am, I actually started planting out loads of stuff. Ooh, I don't know about my beans, they're a bit... Oh 
dear. Yeah, me being the impatient gardener that I am, um, I've started planting stuff out. But in my defence, the weather forecast was clear. Like, it wasn't supposed to be going below five degrees at night for the foreseeable. And, uh, yeah, it did. Oh. Yeah, I think my beans might be a bit screwed. They're looking a bit... Mm, might be okay. I'll have to check on them later. They might be okay. They might not be okay. Oh, this is so annoying. Why? Yeah, see, they've got a, the cucumbers might be okay. And I've, got, I've started putting some tomatoes out as well. They were all really struggling in the greenhouse. I think it was just too hot in there. Um, I've not quite got the hang of uh, temperature management in the greenhouse yet. And so everything's kind of really stunted and really been struggling. So I thought to myself, well, you know, the, the temperatures are good now, the weather's good, let's just start planting stuff out and hopefully it'll pick back up again. Well, that one kind of bit me in the ass, didn't it? Hmm. All right, okay, here's what it is. I'll give it a few hours and come back out here and check stuff again. Everything in here should be fine. Oh yeah, everything in here. There is, everything in there is fine. I mean, I've got loads of stuff in here still. Apart from beans, but beans grow fast anyway, so... Eh, not the end of the world. It's just, oh, it's just the principle of it. It's so annoying. It wasn't supposed to freeze. Damn it. Anyway, moving on. Moving on with my day. I can't change it. I'll come back later and see what the, uh, what the death count is. Hello, madam. You want to go out, don't you? Yeah, I need to get everybody out in the fields. Get the stables done and then i gotta go meet mum shortly um, we're on a bit of a road trip today we're going to see a stallion we're going to meet your potential boyfriend nelly hmm? possible boyfriend what do you think what do you think hmm? is this a good thing for you or are you indifferent i think right now all she cares about is going on the grass bless her but yes, we've been talking about it for years, we've been threatening it for years, um, and yeah, the time has come. We, we want to have a Nelly baby, don't we? We want a Nelly baby. So we're going to go see a stallion today. Hopefully he's um, as nice as he sounds like he's going to be. And yeah, watch this space. I mean, I wouldn't get too excited. I say watch this space, but I wouldn't get too excited because, you know, we've been umming and ahhing on this for many, many years now, and nothing has come of it yet. But... You never know, there could be a Nelly baby in the works. <laughs>